Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. Once again in this very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations. In this video, we will be solving an interesting factorial equation which is x plus 2 factorial minus 12 times x minus 1 factorial equal to 16 times x factorial. While solving this problem, I will use the properties of factorial, mainly recursive formula, synthetic division method and we will use quadratic equation to finish our solution part. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation. So if I will consider x plus 2 factorial then I can write x must be greater than or equal to minus 2 because at x equal to minus 2 it is 0 factorial that is defined. x minus 1 factorial I can write x greater than or equal to 1. Here I can write x greater than or equal to 0. So if you will take intersection let me write, if you will take intersection of all, see, the intersection of all that would be x greater than or equal to 1. So our domain becomes x greater than or equal to 1 where x belongs to integer. Now I will use recursive formula. What does it mean? Its meaning is n factorial can be written as n times n minus 1 factorial or n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial and so on. In this manner I can consider up to any point. Now I will apply this recursive formula to our equation. Let me apply x plus 2 factorial. So I will write x plus 2 from where up to means up to which point I have to go that is the least factorial value. So x minus 1. So I will begin with x plus 2 times x plus 1 times x times x minus 1 factorial. Minus 12 times x minus 1 factorial equal to again I will apply recursive formula x times x minus 1 factorial. Now you can easily see x minus 1 factorial is common or I can divide by x minus 1 factorial. But before that we have to make sure it should not be the solution of the original equation. So I will check x if x is equal to 1. So what value we will be having. So if I will put x equal to 1 then first term would be 3 factorial. So 3 factorial minus 12 times 0 factorial equal to 16 times 1 factorial. 3 factorial is 6 minus 0 factorial is 1. So minus 12 is equal to 1 factorial is 1. It is not equal to 0. So x not equal to 1. And one more thing x minus 1 factorial of any number it cannot be 0. 0 factorial is 1. This is what we know. 0 factorial is 1. 1 factorial is 1. Nothing means none of the number you will get that factorial value is 0. So directly you can divide by x minus 1 factorial. Quickly I will divide. So what is left? Let me cancel all the terms. What is left? x square let me multiply or I can write one time x plus 2 times x plus 1 times x minus 12 equal to 16x. Let me expand this one. So I will be having x square 2x plus x 3x plus 2 times x minus 16x minus 12 equal to 0. Now I will write the direct equation x cube plus 3x square plus 2x minus 16x so minus 14x and minus 12 equal to 0. So here we have got one cubic equation. Now we have to find out the roots of this equation. Let me write here quickly. I can write x cube plus 3x square minus 14x 
minus 12 equal to 0. Now we will take the help of rational root theorem. From there we can find out the factors of constant coefficient plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 plus minus 4 plus minus 6 and so on. Okay, plus minus 6 plus minus 12. If you will check x is equal to 1, quickly we can check 1 plus 3 minus 14 minus 12. So it is not making our equation 0. So it is not our solution or root. Minus 1 if you will check, it won't give you the solution or root. You can check minus 1 plus 3 plus 14 minus 12. So it is not true. If you will check for x equal to plus minus 2, it is not okay. It will not provide you. If I will check x equal to 3, see what we are getting. 3 cube is 27 plus 3 square is 9 times 3, 27. 14 times 3, 42 minus 12. So 54 minus 54 is equal to 0. That means it is true. So conclusion is x is equal to 3 is our solution of the given cubic equation. So what I will write quickly, I will use synthetic division 1, 3, minus 14 and minus 12. Put one line over there, leading coefficient as it is, 3 times 1, 3, 6, 6 times 3, 18, 4, 3 times 4, 12, 0. So our cubic equation now converted into x equal to 3 that is one solution. And second one is x square plus 6x plus 4 equal to 0. Okay. Now this is one quadratic equation. We will find out roots. Let's find out quickly. x square plus 6x plus 4. Let me apply quadratic formula directly. x is equal to minus b. So minus 6 plus minus square root b square. 36 minus 4ac. a is 1. c is 4. So 16 over 2a. So I will write minus 6 plus minus root 20 over 2. So I will get minus 6 plus minus 4 5s are 20 so 2 root 5 over 2. So this value is not coming out integer so it cannot be our solution. Final value is 3 plus minus root 5. So it cannot be accepted. It will be rejected. Why? Because of it is not integer value. So let's verify quickly the solution. So which one x is equal to 3 is the solution of our equation. So let's verify it. So I will write 5 factorial. 3 plus 2 is 5 factorial. Minus 12 times 4 factorial. 5, uh, 3 minus 1, 2 factorial. Equal to 16 times 3 factorial. Let's check. 5 factorial is 120 minus 12 times 2 factorial is 2. So 24. So LHS and let's solve the RHS also. 3 factorial is 6. 120 minus 24. That value would be 96. 96. That means this is our true and correct solution. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video.